Hello guys, it is Simbi herself again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, what are we talking about? I would like to share with you my workflow. What I do first, second, third and so on to the end when it comes to editing a video. So, so many of you wonder, like, how do you know what to do when you're editing a video? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. But before you proceed, I would urge you to watch the full video that I have made on how to edit with CapCut from scratch as a beginner. That is if you do not know how to edit. Now, moving forward, the workflow. How do you know what to use, what to do when you're editing a video? Well, I have a workflow and it, it doesn't matter what the video is. So the first thing that I do, of course, the obvious thing is to import the videos into CapCut. And then when I do that, while I am importing, I import the videos in a specific order. The first shot, the second shot, I, I select them one after the other. I select from the first shot, the second shot, to the third shot, so that everything is arranged accordingly. So by the time I import it into CapCut, I then proceed on to the next step. I remove the logo of CapCut because, you know, we, we always forget to remove that logo. And by the time we've saved our, our, our video, we, de we end up seeing the CapCut logo at the end of the video. Now, after doing that, I proceed to cutting out unnecessary parts of the video. You know, when you record your video, there are some blanks on the video, there are some bloopers, there are some just unnecessary parts. So I use the feature called split. I use that to cut out all those parts. And then after I have done that, I move on to the next step, which is to what? To color grade the video. So I adjust the brightness, I adjust the colors, I even add filters to make it look really, really nice. Then after that, I move on to the next steps. I work on the audio or I add music to it. Now, there are different cases. There are some cases whereby you want the video that is being played out to go with the flow, go with the beats of the music that you've added. So when you add music, that is if um, there's no voice in the video, you don't want a voice, you just want to add music, or you want to add your voiceover, you can, that's the next step to do. You add your voiceover, or you work on the voice, or you add your music. And then, if, you, if it is a music, you have to work on the video so that it could just match the beats of the music. Perhaps I would make a video tutorial on that, on how to make your video follow the beats of the music. That way it's more interesting to view. The next thing I do after that, working on the voice or adding music or just adding the voiceover, I go ahead to set the cover of the video. And I've explained in my previous videos what a cover is. The first view of your video before someone gets to click on your video to watch. So it may be an interesting attraction. It's just like a thumbnail. Yes, let me put, that, put it at that. A cover is like a thumbnail. So I'm gonna, going to go ahead to set the thumbnail of the video. And then the next part, I will then add my text because all is being said, all is being done. So what is left is to add our text. So what I mean by text is you probably want to have add a translation to your video, a translation to your voiceover and all of that. So it's more like a, a caption to your video and CapCut has that feature. So it just does it automatically for you and you just edit the, the wrong words. The next thing that I add her, they are effects and stickers. You know, all this cool effects, body effects, video effects, stickers flying here and there. Um, I add that. Finally, I add overlays. Overlays are videos or photos explaining further, like their visual representation of what the person is saying in the video. So that is my workflow. That is how I follow it. Sometimes I, when I have a video to edit and I just don't know 
what to start with, what is the next thing. I, I forget sometimes. So this workflow that I have, I just have it listed out. So I just follow it one after the other so I don't miss any step or I don't miss anything. Now, some of my workflows may not be included in your own workflow. You probably think it's not necessary to have effects to have stickers and all of that but if you do follow this workflow you would notice that your video edits are a lot nicer and cooler so if you get to the point of this video and you realize that you don't understand a jack shit of what i'm saying <laughs> please go watch my full video tutorial on my youtube channel on how to edit on CapCut. i explained each feature so well that you will never ever forget and your life will never be the same your editing life will never be the same so before we wrap this up i got a question in the comment section asking me how i got started as a content creator well one thing led to another I didn't think I was going to be a content creator. I didn't think any of that. I just wanted to sell online. Um, I started selling gadgets, props for product pictures, product videos. And then I realized that my users, my customers were asking me for more and more props, gadgets, lighting, and all of that. But by the time I provide this, they do not know or understand how to use them. And as a business person, as a seller myself, I should know too, right? So I took it upon myself to learn about these things online. Definitely, I took some classes too, uh, locally and internationally. I paid for courses. I learned about lighting, setting up lights. And all of all of that and i just found myself enjoying the process like creating content editing videos you know i found out about CapCut, and i just nobody taught me how to use CapCut. so you, it's out of my curiosity out of the videos that i've made i just started using CapCut, and here we are today from the videos that i've edited and i've posted on my social media page I've, it made me realize that I could be better and that I am actually good at creating content. So I got approached by customers, by my colleagues, whoever it is that is interested in working with me to create content for them. And that is how I became a content creator. So I've been creating content ever since, back to back for my business and for other brands. So if there's any more questions that you have in mind, please leave them in the comment section. I will gladly read them and I will reply in the comment section or I'll reply in form of a video. So thank you so much for watching so far. And I hope what I have said, all the tips that I've shared about my workflow on how to edit videos makes sense to you and you can follow it. And please don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, and then subscribe to my channel. Thank you.